is up you guys film fan 0599 here again and today we're going to review showbiz by muse so before you know um simulation theory their newest album which is going to come out on november 9th i figured also for my first album reviews i would go back to the first seven albums and talk about them all and review them all before Stimulation Theory comes out. And also, I thought this would be a good start for my album reviews, me reviewing their entire discography. So we're going to start that off with their debut album, Showbiz. This album was released in 1999 and like I said, this was the band's debut album. This was the first album that the band ever released to the public. And, you know, a, a lot of pressure could happen for a band, you know, releasing their first album. This is the first thing people are ever going to hear from them. You know, it, it's quite scary. And it must have been nerve-wracking for the three members of the band because, you know, this was their first album. And, you know, they were on edge, like, you know, waiting to know what people were going to think and what the people were going to react to their music would be. And I will say this. Showbiz is a very good debut album. I do think the band primarily shows their promise very early on. Maybe not in full, but they do show early on that they do have some promise. And they do, you know, have some staying power to them. And while not this album is not perfect, I do think it's a very good debut album. I did quite like it a lot. Um, I re-listened to it twice last night. Just to give a really, you know, cohesive review, you know. And I really did think this album is a really solid debut album. I still, you know, had the same thoughts for when I first listened to it. It is a very, very solid debut album. I quite like it a lot. So, let's talk about why I like it so much. And we're going to start off by talking about the production on this album. So the production here is very good. I do think all three members of the band do their job very well. And like I said, show their promise very early on. Matthew Bellamy's vocal work is very, very good here. He offers a nice blend of anger and even sadness on this album. And we definitely see that a lot in Muse's discography. And he shows that um, very early on here. Um, when you know when he needs to be angry like in songs like uh, Muscle Museum or Showbiz or you know um, Escape especially shows his angry side um, But when he needs to show a much more sadder and a much more emotional, you know uh, type of weight he shows that on falling down and Unintended and he does that very well um, you know, he shows very prominently, very early on, that he can be a very capable vocalist. And Matthew Bellamy is, like, top three favorite vocalists for me. The guy is absolutely incredible, and here, he does show that very primarily, very early on in their careers. And I really like his vocal work here. His guitar work is also very good here, too. I like a lot of the riffs that he offers. They're kind of somewhat muddy here. You know, and I quite like that. They're quite, you know, just raw and somewhat muddy in, in this album. And, you know, I do like his guitar work very much here on this album, too. Also shows very prominently, very early on, his guitar work as well. Because he's also, like, very high up as, like, one of my favorite guitarists. And so he shows both very early on that he can be both, both a capable vocalist and a capable guitarist. And I like that a lot. Um, Chris Wilsonholm is very good here as the bass doesn't doesn't quite go fully like we see on later albums but he is very good here i did like a lot of his bass lines on this album you know he is a bassist that really you know shows his presence in the band and while i don't think it shows on this album all that much it gets more into the later albums he really shows that but his bass lines are still very good here like on Sunburn or on Showbiz, like just, they are very solid in my opinion. And also another thing is, I like how the guitar and the bass mix together. We see that very often in Muse's uh, discography, and we see that very early on here. Like in the song Cave, I love how in that song, both the guitar and the bass mix together. I love how they both mix together in that song. It's quite smooth and quite nice, in my opinion. I really like how they uh, mix those two together in that song. And I thought that's where it showed very, very primarily was in that song. I really loved how it sounded. 
Um, and of course, I cannot leave Dominic Howard, who is the drummer. I, he is great. You know, um, doesn't show really, like, like I said, they don't show, like, too much of what they're used to, but they do show, like, that they are capable. Like, I really love how it sounds, the drums here, like, in Showbiz, or I know I keep on mentioning that song, but you'll see why once we talk about the tracks, but in, or in Showbiz, or in Sunburn, he always shows very, um, early on that he is a very good drummer. And like I said, I do think all three of the members do their parts very well. And while the production isn't quite perfect in areas, there are definitely some areas where it's kind of a, uh, not the greatest. And also, I know a lot of people complain that the band sound too much like Radiohead. I don't see that in their later works, but here, this is where it kind of shows a bit or where, where it's like they were trying to sound a lot like Radiohead and kind of comes off like Radiohead light at points I will admit and that is kind of a glaring issue with this album in my opinion but you know it's still very good it's still I still like it a lot the production still sounds very nice for the most part in my opinion I do think it's very good you know not some of the bands like absolute best especially when we get later on into their albums but still very good and like I said it still shows very primarily what the band could do very early on in their careers so that's all I got to say about the production really so let's get to the meat of the album and that is the tracks Now to talk about some of the tracks that are on this album, and there are some really good tracks and some really fantastic ones on this album that show early on, like I said, that the band is somewhat of a force to be reckoned with. And I'll get into those tracks, but let's start off with Sunburn, which is the opening track off this album, and I think this is a great opening track. It has a nice blend of piano and bass and drums. I really like that and also the guitar as well. It has a nice blend of that. I've always enjoyed that whenever I've heard whenever I heard this album for the first time. This is this one I think was like the last one I actually listened to. Um even though this is their first album, this was like the last album I actually listened to from the band. I didn't listen to the discography in order. But when I did hear the album for the first time, this is one of the songs that caught my attention at first because I just love how the piano sounds and the drumming as well. It's very subtle at first, but I wouldn't say when it gets to the hook of the song, it doesn't go full blast, like full anger or anything, but it, it's not subtle as well. It's still very kind of somewhat in your face, but not too much. And I like that. And it kind of adds to the subtlety of the song a bit. And it's very good, in my opinion. I really like how that song is executed and the way it just kind of builds momentum. And we do see that a lot on this album, building up momentum. And this is one of those songs that shows that. And I really like how they do that here on Sunburn. And it's a very good opening track. It really starts off the album very well, in my opinion. I think it opens it up to, like, a good note. It's like, okay, we're going to get into something really good here. So, well, in my opinion, the most important track on the album is, is the opening track. Because you got to leave a good mark for the opening track and for the rest of the album. And this uh, track does that very well, in my opinion. I really do think it starts off the album quite nicely. And like I talked about uh, earlier, Unintended. Unintended is a very softer song. Um, the song is about uh, Matt Bellamy, who had unintended feelings for a girl at one point. And it's very nice. It's so smooth and so soft. Like, seriously, it's almost like you could fall asleep to this because of how much it does that, honestly. Like, it's very soft, very smooth, and it's great. And the way Matthew Bellamy sings on this song is absolutely incredible. You know, shows very early on that he can be a capable vocalist, especially when it comes to songs like these where he needs a much more soft and much more just kind of emotional type of... um voice and I really like that a lot and he does a very fantastic job on this song and the way that the acoustic guitar is played it's so nice I swear like I swear you can fall asleep to this and just have a peaceful sleep with it because it is such a just a nice beautiful song I really love the lyrics a lot to it too especially in the chorus like the way that Matthew Bellamy sings that chorus 
oof, so great. Like, seriously, I absolutely love it. And earlier on, we had a song that was kind of like this called Falling Down. And while I thought that song was kind of boring, to be honest, I really don't care about that track, to be honest. It's kind of just a slog to listen to. Not a bad song, just kind of okay. Unintended does it much better. And I really like more the direction where they go with in that song. I do think it's a much better example than Falling Down of how to do a softer song and, you know, really just kind of mesmerize your audience. And I do think the band does that quite nicely on Unintended, and it remains one of my favorite tracks off of the album because of that. And I do think it's probably one of the best songs the band has done. So yeah, I do think Unintended is a really fantastic song. Now the actual title track, Showbiz. I know I've been talking about this track here and there throughout the review, but um, Showbiz is a fantastic title track. Seriously, it, you know, it takes the name privately, you know, because sometimes when you get the title tracks, they won't be the best, but Showbiz is absolutely great. I love this title track. And the song is kind of talking about how um, the record label basically wants Matt to be something that he's not, to go in a much more direction than what he wants with his music. Like, he's like, no, I want to do what I want with my music. And I like that a lot. And how it's talked about in the song is quite nice. Like, I really like the lyrics a lot, too. And the way that the song builds up. The way that the song builds up is absolutely fantastic. We hear a slight drum beat and kind of somewhat of a thumping bass as well. And, you know, Matt's going like, Trouble controlling my feelings for too long. Like, you know, he's singing that over and over again. And it's so nice to listen to at first. But then it just goes on to full-on anger. At, you know in the song and it's just so intense and so driven and it's amazing like seriously the way that it builds up it just explodes is great like I love that a lot and you just the way that the guitar sounds and the screeching on the guitar too is absolutely amazing and adds to the song so much like I, I can definitely see why so many people want to hear this live because this is a song that is made for a live audience honestly like seriously if you've ever watched like live versions or even seen this live you know like just how impactful it is and i can see why they always bring it as a rare little treat because whenever you hear the song live it's a, it is a nice treat and it's great like i really love that and it's an awesome song in my opinion i really love this one a lot definitely like, it, it, seriously, it's so amazing. It is such a fantastic title track. Like, I love it so much. It's so great, in my opinion. And, you know, like I said, just the way that the instruments blend together in the song, the lyrics, um, just the intenseness of the song, and the way that the song ends, too. You know, Matt's kind of screaming a bit, and then it just kind of goes to a screeching end. I love that. It just ends on such a, like, screeching note. And we just kind of hear the instruments kind of fading out. And it's great. Like, seriously, the way that this song is executed, in my opinion, is so fantastic. And I love it so much. It's one of my favorites from the band, honestly. And definitely a top-tier favorite track from this album. But my absolute favorite track off of this album is the song Escape. The song Escape is about when Matthew Bounley, when he was 14, I believe, and he was dealing with the divorce of his parents. And the way that the song talks about it is fantastic. And for me, if there's any sh song off of this album that showed the band's potential like very early on, it was this one. This one shows like, yeah, this band is going to be something. This band is going to be something once they get even further into their career. Like, just the way that this song, oh, it starts off, it starts off so soft. Like, you just hear the slight drums, and the slight guitar, and the slight bass, and you know, Matt is singing that chorus. You know, actually, both Matt and Dom. The harmonies between the both of them in the song is fantastic. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the harmonies between the two in this song. It's so great. Like, the way that their vocals mix together is amazing, and it's very um, executed very well here. And you know, when he's singing that chorus at first, and then he gets to the first verse, and then the ref uh, friend, refrain, 
the refrank. There you go. And when he gets to that, you know, it's so soft and so kind of just gentle. Then that second verse slaps you in the face and it just goes all intense and anger from there. And just the way that Matthew Bellamy, oof, just kind of just takes you in is like you are going to listen. Like the anger and the drive, like when he's singing these lyrics, is so fantastic. Like he just brings it home with it. Like he is like pissed off like you honestly like there's no other way to put it like and it's so fantastic the way he executes that you know like he's angry at the fact and he just doesn't know what to think like he's angry sad that his parents are divorcing like he's like why can't you just love her why can't you like you know it's so amazing like who like seriously it takes you for a spin man this song it really really does and nobody talks about it which sucks because i hardly hear people talk about this song and it's so perfect it's one of the absolute best songs they have ever done i know some people have kind of problems with the lyrics because it kind of sounds like a 14 year old wrote them but i feel like that was kind of the point i feel like it was supposed to Take in perspective from Bellamy when he was 14. Now, I'm not saying that means you should automatically think it's good. It's just for me, I think it worked, honestly. Like, it just really kind of worked. Like, taking it from that perspective and seeing how Matthew Bellamy felt at that age when he was seeing his parents divorce and seeing just everything crumbled. And just the way he sings the song, the way he plays the guitar, it's so intense and so filled with anger and emotion. And it is fantastic. Fantastic, honestly, and the drumming is great here, too Like I absolutely love how the drums are executed on this song same goes with the bass You know and like I said, I really love the harmonies between both Matt and Chris on this song, too Like they are absolutely phenomenal in my opinion Seriously escape is such an emotional and just great song in my opinion and Then you know after he sings the uh, refrain again And you know the instruments are just going so intense and so intense they start to tone it down a bit. And, you know, it's like toning down. It's going back to the beginning of the song. And then just bring it all home. Back with that chorus again. And just being soft and mellow. Just like... Mm, just the way that... It's, oh my god. Like, seriously. The way that just that song goes from start to finish. Perfection, in my opinion. I absolutely love this song so much. Seriously, it's such an incredible tune. It's easily my favorite song off of this album and is one of my favorites from Muse in general. And some of the other songs I like too, I like Muscle Museum, you know, songs like classics like Muscle Museum or Cave or Uno, like those songs are great too. I quite enjoyed those songs a lot as well. So yeah, the track listing is very good here. I do like a good majority of the songs off of this album. The only songs I really don't care about are Falling Down and Sober. Those are kind of the and tracks off the album and they're really the only ones I don't ever come back to from this album because they're just kind of, eh, whatever. But overall, I do think the track listing is very good and a lot of the songs here are very, very good in my opinion. So overall, Showbiz by Muse is a very good debut album, I think. It is very solid. Like I said, showed the band's potential very, very early on. And, you know, show that, you know, you know, like, this group's got something. They got something. I feel like maybe with their next album, they could really explode. And we'll get to that later. But Showbiz is a very good album, in my opinion. I really like this album a lot. Definitely shows very early on that the band is, you know, going to be a force to be reckoned with. Especially with songs like Escape, Showbiz, and Unintended. Those are the, like the three best tracks in my opinion. And really shows primarily what the band could do very early on. And I do like this album a lot. It has some very good production in my opinion. You know, it has a really good track listing. The band does a very solid job on this album. So yeah, overall, really solid. So it's time for my official rating on Showbiz by Muse, and my official rating on Showbiz by Muse is a three and a half out of five. I quite like this album a lot. It is a very solid debut album, in my opinion. If you've never listened to this album before, I would highly recommend it, especially if you're starting out with the discography of Muse. It's a very good debut album, and like I said, shows primarily very early on what the band could do. So, thank you all for watching my review of Showbiz. I should be 
coming up very soon with my review of Origin of Symmetry. And I want to know, what do you think about this album? And what's your favorite song off of the album? Please, leave it in the comments section below. And I'm FilmFan0599, and we'll see you all later. Peace.